You know, I grew up in the mean streets of Baltimore, you know, back in a time when it was sometimes easier to find trouble than it was to find a good crab cake. <laughs> no, I'm lying, I'm lying. I grew up in the, in the suburbs of Baltimore. It, it was a real nice neighborhood where I grew up. I mean, like I grew up on the street, but not in the streets, if you know what I mean. Uh, it was a time when, you know, we had community and Little League baseball and we could ride my bike through the neighborhood and go to the store. And really, the only uh, trouble we really had back then was we called him Black Omar. You know, I know you might have watched The Wire and thought about Omar, but listen, we had a real live Omar in our neighborhood who terrorized us. And I can just remember as a kid trying to uh, navigate uh, how much I, you know, how, how much I really wanted to go ride to the store and get that McDonald's versus how much I really wanted to face Omar and tell him, no, he couldn't ride my bike and face those consequences. Uh, so it was really a, a, a time when dealing with that fear, you know, as a, a 10, 11, 12 year old and, and just how, what is it going to mean about me growing up only my mom to run home to for help? I didn't have brothers, didn't have a dad there in the house uh, and really trying to deal with that and cope with that and, and what that really meant. Facing that Omar, we all have some kind of Omar in our lives. We have someone who or something that we fear uh, that we have to really ask ourselves uh, what's more important or what's, what's more valuable facing that fear or succumbing to that fear.